guys we are starting outside so outside you have this parking area so a couple of neighbors and uh, yeah plenty of parking space here and uh, a bunch of olives of course those are not uh, part of the property but you know it's just an outside area it's very tranquil just off of the main road in the distance there we have the Mayella mountain with some snow this year has not been the coldest winter ever uh, today is February the 16th and it's uh, super hot I would say 15 degrees anyways the house so you have the bottom floor so the tavern there where i'm finger pointing and uh, your you access with the car from there if you want uh, the middle floor the one in the middle is not actually part of the sale the top floor is on the terrace where the my colleagues there are uh, bit of a weird situation uh, but uh, so the, the other owner uh, uh, joins from here so it's completely separated but basically we have one in the middle uh, weird layout uh, I mean uh, probably the only downside of the house but honestly uh, not that bad uh, you will see now that uh, uh, I describe more the situation so entrance here a small little garden and uh, you get to keep this shed here uh, there are some yeah this is currently used as a with some power tools and uh, storage uh, it's a nice nice to have here uh, on the left we have the space uh, for your car in case you want to park it here but uh, maybe not needed uh, here we have the tavern so this I think it's a pretty cool space for parties and uh, if you have friends over you know currently uh, they have a couch here and uh, on the right here we, had, we just have a uh, how do you call it a mattress uh, yeah I don't on a rete da materasso I will let you know how it is but you know what it is but you have the kitchen uh, you know uh, to attach the, the sink uh, washing machine in case you need it so you can have a small kitchen here and uh, here you have the, the bathroom so for your part it's all, all you need kitchen couch bathroom have a table here and you're set uh, instead to access the house we we take these stairs here and uh, yeah you can stay with me or skip forward 15 seconds i want to just show to you that uh, you don't encounter any other door so you simply walk here it's a super nice view here see see the open openness really nice so, yeah and basically this is the entrance door so we can go in yeah, as mentioned this is the entrance this house was decorated with ta with taste you will say will tell you will be able to tell from the furniture which is not staying only the kitchen is staying uh, but you know furniture is proper and the bathrooms are super nice uh, I, I'd say this is uh, already a cool space so so you have the stairs to go upstairs it's already a, a nice space I don't think you necessarily need to modify uh, for example this table comfortably sits at least eight people so it's going to be fine but if you want uh, I've been told that you can take down that wall where the kitchen is but before we go there I will say let's go outside to describe this amazing terrace so guys what can I say about this terrace uh, it's super nice to have something like this in an apartment you know you have the the sink there decent space no one on top of you so if you want you can cook from here no one will uh, 
will have any issue with it and uh, you'll get to enjoy this open view and uh, yeah that, that is just super nice for an apartment uh, your immediate neighbors are here uh, on the right uh, but you know you have this uh, this wall which is uh, roughly so I'm 185 so this is must be 170 or 160 so centimeters so it's, it's good uh, yeah eating uh, a caldaia today I cannot speak yes yeah, it's too early in the morning uh, so it's super nice as we move forward here you have this uh, hallway which leads to the bathroom here and the kitchen with another table as mentioned the kitchen is staying uh, but like I was saying earlier if you want you can take this wall down and uh, it, sh it should be in not a huge uh, a huge endeavor you know to, to take it down uh, if you want to expand the area someone prefers the kitchen uh, to be separated others to be to have the open space kitchen has also access to this uh, decent sized uh, balcony and we go back in we have storage areas here so I really like the layout of this place honestly I do before going into the bathroom I'll show it here this can be uh, a room of course it's uh, pretty large so it can be a bedroom uh, if you don't want to go upstairs necessarily probably yeah probably the best option would be to have it here or if you uh, want a studio and uh, guys uh, this is the bathroom I genuinely love these tiles like I rarely see this level of details in the tiles for the bathroom and uh, uh, generally cannot describe how premium it feels with uh, kind of like also the bathtub within the wall yeah absolutely absolutely and uh, yeah we can go upstairs now for the for the other rooms uh, as you can see the wood starts here uh, of course if you have wood you know it's going to be uh, more delicate so mindful of the wood but I, I really think it gives a premium feel to the houses so here we have the smallest uh, can we call it a room maybe yes maybe not it's just uh, I don't know it's a it's a space what uh, I was told is that uh, it even fits a single bed here so say you have people over you can even uh, squeeze a f single bed there but the best option will probably be to have it uh, to use it as a wardrobe for this uh, main room so basically you will have your bed there Now there's a couch, but of course you can change it, and you know uh, the wardrobe there. Uh, fixtures, guys, pretty good, new. Uh, I think it's uh, PVC. It's pretty popular these days. Um, nothing too much about it. Just what I can tell you, it's uh, too super comfortable as I entered the place. So insulation must be working. Here we have the uh, sliding doors, safe space, and uh, other small hallway before going into the other bathroom. Uh, yeah, this is another secondary bathroom. Secondary again, you can you can have a double bed here, no issues, and 
you have uh, storage space there is even a safe there and <coughs> the balcony also here from this room and uh, here in the distance you can see the hills of Spoltore Spoltore guys by the way also a nice town with a lovely town center and uh, by the way remember to download my ebook about the five best towns in Abruzzo link in the description and here we have the bathroom upstairs uh, you can see the sloping roof but it's actually super high so do not worry again i'm 185 and i have no issues with my head so it's going to be fine uh, they fitted the this is i think the first time i see a yellow washing machine hmm i think it was painted yellow to match somewhat the tiles I mean it's those little things you can say I like it or not but it's those little things that tells you uh, about the care that was taken was given to this house you know and it's also super clean super yeah super tidy uh, pretty cool guys what do you think I again I know that some of you are not interested in apartment but I think this one is pretty cool correct me if I'm wrong let me know in the comments and of course if you want to to book a visit to this place let me know and we can arrange it thank you bye bye